Hi Capricorn, hope you're well. Welcome to your reading. Today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Lover's card and the Four of Wands. Right now, validation and confirmation that you are meant to be with your kindred spirit, someone you know from a past life, someone who recognized their energy, and someone who sees galaxies and stars in your eyes. Now, as a magnet, you always attract what you emit. So in order for this to happen, you got to remember, you are not waiting for your soulmate. Your soulmate soulmates always waiting for you. You always manifest who you are, not what you want every single time. This is the art of attraction and the law of attraction. So I'll give an example. Right now, spirit wants you to be with your soulmate. Nothing would make your angels and guides happier than this. Now, what they're doing is they're waiting. I'll give an example. Imagine you have a child and your child wants you to buy them a car. Now, you are like, I'll buy you a car. I can afford it and it's a great idea. But you need to show me that you are ready to drive. You need to show me that you have experience. Go take a course or go show me that you've been practicing. Now, when they are ready, you'll give them the car, but you're not going to give it to them before because they are not ready, right? You want to make sure they're okay. That's the same thing here. Spirit's like, are you sure you're able to make that first impression? Are you sure you're comfortable with your own energy? Are you sure you're not going to be, you know, wasting this opportunity by having insecurities, right? For example, like having your guard up or something. And that right there, when you are ready, that's when spirit gives it to you. So all you have to do is so simple. Clear these limiting beliefs. Right now, with that Eight of Swords energy, Spirit is telling you that there is trauma from previous relationships here. For example, you may be telling yourself, I am unlucky when it comes to love, or I was in a relationship, I wasted a year of my life. I'm never going to be with my soulmate. That right there are limiting beliefs, beliefs that limit you. You got to understand this right here, it either could be from your childhood, it could be from past relationships. It causes an energy block, a love block. Now, how do you clear this? By understanding everything happens for a reason. What was the lesson? For example, you have maybe had parents growing up that didn't show love to each other. So you may have a limiting belief of, you know, I don't know how to be romantic because I was never taught that. Now, right now you got to understand what was the lesson in that situation? You may be like, Vince, what lesson? Well, here's the deal. What did you learn from your parents? You learned what not to do. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't treat your spouse like that. Simple as pie. Now you know exactly what to do, what not to do. So for example, imagine you dated someone, they cheated on you. Okay, what was the lesson? When there's smoke, there's fire. Or don't settle and be in a relationship that the love's not reciprocated. But there's always a lesson. The moment you're like, oh, okay, understood, learned it, boom, energy is cleared. Done, it's over. Your bad luck, your bad fortune is gone. It's over like that. So quick, right? You don't have to wait weeks and months and years. It's like millisecond, microsecond, it's over. But you got to tell yourself, what was the lesson? Now, three of pentacles, five of pentacles. This is about having help from third parties, friends, neighbors, coworkers, strangers, anyone. Someone that you meet uh, helping you with your finances. So, for example, someone's like, hey, you want to start a business? I have a great idea. Someone's saying, hey, there's this new job opening. You should go apply. But right now, people want to help you. They want to enter your life. And right now, I do see a lot of help when it comes to your career. Now, your angels and guides are telling you that you have to be on in order for this to happen. Like, I'll give you an example. I met my wife because a mutual friend invited me to a birthday party, so we indirectly were referred to each other. Now, this is the same thing. If that mutual friend did not invite me to that party, I would not be where I'm at. So your friend, they need to invite you or help you or guide you. They need a reason. Now, that's why it's so important to feel good all the time. It's so important to honor your soul because you never know when an opportunity presents itself and it's never on your own timeline. So for example, imagine a coworker is like, hey, my cousin's coming from out of town. You guys would be a great fit. You should give him a call, right? Now, if you aren't feeling good and your coworker sees that, they're going to be like, mm, right now it doesn't look like Capricorn's ready. So you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll tell Capricorn next time they're in town. Do you see where I'm going with this? That's why you want to make sure you do the things that honor your soul. For me, it's like not overeating. For me, it's like making sure I get enough sleep. For me, it's making sure that I'm like doing something, I'm learning something. I'm not just constantly like indulging in entertainment, right? So by doing so, you are really making your life effortless. Now, you got the magician and the emperor. And source is telling you this is about 
making sure that you understand your point of attraction is your power and that you are co-creator with spirit and the universe is waiting, matter of fact, dying to rearrange itself to your beliefs. You got to understand you have the boss, okay? The person who created this third dimension, spirit, also created the universe, also created all these other dimensions. This is the most powerful entity ever, okay? This, it doesn't even come close to anything else. Now, this person is your best friend. Imagine having the world's richest person as your best friend. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, spirit is the world's most awesome ever, okay? So right now, Source is telling you you're co-creators with this person. Now, all that really means is this person is waiting to rearrange the simulation you're in to your beliefs. So if you believe, I am confident, I am sexy, I'm powerful, I'm charming, of course I'm going to meet my soulmate, of course I'm going to get that promotion, of course I'm going to go travel the world, do, 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 do. this universe will rearrange itself and opportunities will present it to you left and right. Left and right from the infinite number of realities, brain and heart coherence will bring that to you. Guaranteed, quantum physics and quantum entanglement has proven this. This, this is not like hocus pocus theory. This is like peer-reviewed science. You will get this. Now, if you are focusing elsewhere, for example, if you're focusing on the familiar past or the, the predictable future, that's when you're not ready. So source is telling you it's super easy. The key to your manifestation is belief in allowing. And the better you feel, the more you allow. And that's what it comes down to. People are like, Vince, I want to get rich. Great. Go for a walk. Hey, Vince, I want to meet my soulmate. Fantastic. Journal. Hey, Vince, I want to get those six pack abs. Oh, great. You know, what, what brings you excitement? Do you want to sing, dance, draw? Anything. It doesn't have it doesn't have to have anything to do with your objective. But the happier you are doing fun, silly things, the more magnetic you are, and that is how you are attracting more opportunities. Remember, as a magnet, you always attract what you emit. So if you're playing the violin and that makes you happy, melody in your thoughts brings harmony in your life. You know what I mean? Now you got the ten of pentacles and the chariot. So right now, this is about monetizing a passion, making money, doing something you love. Now, this is not just something that happens in the movies. This happens all the time. For example, I make money. Sorry about that. I make money day trading. I literally press a couple buttons on the computer and I print money out of thin air. I make money talking about angels and guides. I make money by putting a jar, taking a jar, putting a label on it, sending it to Amazon and selling it as pet supplements. Super easy. I make money doing things I love all the time. You can do it as well. So that's why it's not something that's like you have to go settle for a job like you live in the 21st century or there's something called the internet if you're not making money off the internet it's just you just gotta find a way to do so so the first step is go online go on youtube right here after this video type in how to make passive income that's it learn about how to make passive income online right how to make passive income online go from there Right? That's getting the ball going. That's becoming the cause and effect. That's showing spirit that you're ready. And by doing so, what's happening is you're walking towards your goals rather than walking away from it. And this right here, by being in alignment with Trump's execution, will really get what you're looking for. So you don't have to go looking for it. It will come to you the moment that you're in alignment. All right, Capricorn, talking about alignment, it's time for your affirmation. This is exactly how you get money and love into your life. This is how you quantum entangle with abundance that is your birthright. All you got to do is write your affirmation in the comment section. You're showing spirit, spirit, I am the cause and effect. I am doing stuff. I deserve abundance. I deserve a higher outcome. And you will get it immediately. Trust me on this. Write this down in the comment section. So your affirmation is... I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. I love this. I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. Write this down in the comment section. This is you saying I embrace change. I love that breath of fresh air. I want to make more money. I want to be able to meet my soulmate. I want to go travel. I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. Write this down in the comment section. Let spirit know you invite, welcome, command, assume, expect this. I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. Write that down in the comment section right now. All right, now final message from your guides. Final message is love is never in vain. So when you finally see what this whole time space thing is all about, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, and you're going to so, so, so be happy that you loved as much as you did. This is about not taking life so serious, right? Right now, we worry, worry, worry about our bills. We're constantly trying to progress. But you got to understand at the end of the day, in the blink of an eye, this whole thing's over. You're going to get reincarnated, come back and do it all over again. So right now, life is like a roller coaster. Imagine you are here. Your end destination is here. You're going to do a whole lot of this before you get here. 
throw your hands up. We enjoy the ride. Don't hang on tight. It's unnecessary, right? So right now, not being serious. Being serious is a quick vibe, the quickest way to low vibration. But instead, being silly, having fun, singing, dancing. You know, being serious is like sitting still in fear. But instead, do the opposite. Walk around, dance, sing, crack jokes, have fun. Be lighthearted. Be light spirited. Be young again, right? When you were young, that's when you're the most magnetic. Become that and watch your manifestation manifest immediately organically. All right, Cap, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.